Hi, I'm Joe Buter. I worked with Ed Bellis to create a poem reflective of his life. And one of the things that stuck out in our conversation was his leadership in the field of ecology uh, at Penn State and in central Pennsylvania. He pretty quickly brought up the idea of an ecotone, which is a word I'm familiar with um, from when I was a poetry editor and reader at a literary magazine called Ecotone when I was in graduate school. So the, the idea, the concept of an ecotone was, was really all I could think about afterward and, and even during my conversations with, uh, with Ed. Um, so this uh, idea of an ecotone is kind of throughout the, the poem. I also wanted to say thank you to Nicole Miyashiro and the rest of the Pennsylvania Center for the Book team for including me in organizing this. Same goes for everyone at Juniper Village. So here's the poem I wrote for Ed. Appalachian Egoton. From where Ed sits with a crossword puzzle, he can see an Appalachian ecotone. A word that could mean the sound of an ecology ringing. But the word describes the overlap between two ecologies as one environment transitions into another, weaving a habitat of mixed traits. The ecotone Ed can view over the order of his crosswords is a rogue bit of Appalachian range, forgetting its height in a slow slope into valley grasslands. Now even more grassy with a golf course gripped to earth. Ed would be the one to explain what the mountain hawk leaning through the sky is looking over. Or, in a completely different ecotone, how the environment erodes stilted Venice, where, as a soldier in post-World War II regrowth, Ed took war classes in the morning before science in the afternoon. And he studied more when he returned home, learning in, in the ridges of these mountains, then gone to the prairies and Ozarks of Oklahoma, the pine forests of Minnesota, and back ultimately to walk and fish the Appalachians again, to teach for 35 years. The first class at Penn State, with ecology in its title, was general animal ecology, which is probably what he was looking out at from the lectern as he taught it. 300 plus students in the middle of their own animal ecotones, moving in and out of habitats of young professionalism and malt-loosened hormones. In all this teaching, you will, want to, you will want to tell you about the students who went on to teach or to work, and in those students, friends, walking ecotones all over, protecting streams, conserving the environment, little stretches at a time. And in this branch work of friends, they add each year to the care Ed dedicated to the land. Thank you.